Hello, my name is Callum Hind, a student here at Ayrshire College studying HNC Media Analysis and Production and I'm going to be taking you on a tour of the wonderful town of Ayr. What I like about Ayr is it's easy to navigate but there's so many stuff to do. Ayrshire College was formed in 2013 as a merge between Ayr College, Kilmarnock College and James Watt College with campuses opening at Ayr, Kilmarnock and Kilwinnock. The college serves those in those areas in Ayrshire and its surrounding areas offering many of the courses that have been offered by the college that it replaced. It also serves as one of the many registered charitable organisations in Scotland. The college is always striving for equality and inclusion, ensuring the safety of its students, staff and from discrimination and present equal opportunities for all. Next up is UWS. The University of the West of Scotland was formed in 2007 when the University of Paisley merged with Bell College in Hamilton, opening campuses in Ayr, Lanarkshire, Dumfries and London. Yes, that London. The uni provides accommodation for students at the Air Campus in the form of homeless studio flats. Like Ayrshire College, UWS has high regard for health and safety for those on campus and students having an accommodation. The uni is also striving for equality and has appropriate fire safety measures and does what it can to ensure a smoking free campus for people who come and go. Air Beach is the perfect destination for a day out with the family. This well kept beach is situated on the western coastline of Ayrshire and is the recipient of a seaside award from Keep Scotland Beautiful. How deserve it? Very nice piece of scenery here at the foot of the ocean at Air Beach. A perfect chill spot or even a picture opportunity for the Instagram. There's plenty to do at Air Beach for the kids, whether that's a dip in the ocean, building sandcastles, or even playing at this state of the art play park. Next on the list we have a famous landmark that is located in Alloway and is attached to a famous Scot. That Scot being the famous poet Robert Burns. Robert Burns was born on the 25th of January 1759 and grew up in a small cottage in Alloway. This cottage is now a National Trust and a popular tourist attraction that is linked to the National Trust Museum named after him. The Robert Burns Museum opened in 2010 and celebrates the life and work of the famous poet. The museum takes you on a journey of Burns' life showing over 5,000 pieces of his work. The museum also houses an indoor cafe serving up beverages, cakes and lunches that include the famous Scots dish, haggis, neeps and ties. From here you can take a visit to the Yall Kirk where Robert Burns' parents are buried. The graveyard house shows some spectacular graves and tombs. The graveyard is however most famous for the tale that is attached to it, the tale of Tam O'Shanter which took place on a cold Halloween night where Tam famously had a run in with the devil and witches where a witch chased him to and over the Brig of Doom. But Tam managed to get away lucky as witches cannot cross running water but Tam's steed did not fare too lightly as his horse's tail was snatched by the witch before they crossed. There's nothing that best captures the fun-loving and joy-filled atmosphere that fills the town of Air than this building right here. A day at the theatre is a fun experience like no other and the Gaiety Theatre provides that for people of all ages. First introduced to the town of Air in 1902, this building is known for showcasing an array of different shows each year, the stage area providing what's considered some of the best acoustics in the country. This theatre features only the best playwrights from not just Scotland but are also around the world as well. Only the best productions are shown here and my oh my, it definitely makes you want to pursue a career on the stage. Or is that just me? Here's one for you film and comic book fans. This is Fast Forward which opened in 1987. This is a store that sells comics, graphic novels, DVDs and more interestingly still rents them out. My name's Colin Sloan and I run a DVD rental store and comic book store. I've been here for 34 years since the early days of video rental. So what sort of customers do you see come here regularly? Regulars. A lot of people from out of town, you know, uh, tourists, people visiting there for the day, weekenders and stuff like that, they kind of value the place because it's quite quirky and different, you know. I, mean, I think every town should have a, a bit of difference about it, not just the vanilla usual chain shops and stuff, it gives the town a bit of character and stuff, so yeah, I think they're quite necessary. So how do you feel about being one of the last video rental st uh, stores? Lonely. Lonely. <laughs> <laughs> I, I just recently joined a, a Facebook group and it's all the, the video store owners that are left in the world and we've all come together on this Facebook group. It's nice to be able to liaise and talk and explore different avenues with different dealers, see how they are doing and see how things are broadly. There's, there's so very few of us left. It's nice to be able to talk to other dealers for a change. It's, uh, it has been some time since I spoke to anybody in the trade. I grew up in there, but my family shop was opened by my grandfather in 1947, so I knew what the town was like in the middle to late 70s when it was a seaside resort. Millions of people came to here all the time. Every shop unit was occupied and absolutely necessary. It was a vibrant, busy town. With the advent of uh, out-of-town retail parks, giant supermarkets, and obviously online, 
there's been a marked decline, footfall has dramatically changed. You can tell the amount of older established stores that have shut down, you know, Hurston's and Woolworth's and all these brand stores have all collapsed over the years, you know, because of the change in use. But uh, that's the way things go. Hey, what's the name of the Facebook page that you are on? Well, at the moment, my, my Facebook page for here is being kind of constructed, it, it disappeared. Somebody else was doing it for me, so that will be every time it's called Fast Forward. My personal page is under the name Colin Sloan, so that's fairly recent as well. Do you feel that Air does have like a big film society? You know, there's still a demand for it, it's just the way it, the access it that's changed. Uh, when the film students first came to the college, they would sign up in here en masse. You know, I would sign up 10, 20 at a time, you know, some days. But it was more vibrant, you know, for shops back then. Media has changed. I mean, if students all wanted, say, Battleship Potemkin or something like that to study, they all needed it at the same time. And I would maybe have one copy of it. <laughs> so now you can all access it. It's 100% demand for fulfillment. So, you know, it's just the way things are. I wouldn't do anything else. This is my place to be. I love the trade, I love what it was, I love what it could be, and I love what it still is. I think I would uh, just disappear into a wee pile of clothes if I just uh, left this place. I think people still need me as well. After 34 years, I've firmly established financially and stuff, so there's no no begging bowl at the door or anything like that. Because there's people strewn throughout the 34 years I've been here that have a good memory of it, you know. I've got, I've got like grannies and stuff like that, I used to get cartoons and a mix-up out of here, you know. You start to span a generation, you know, before you know it. Keeping on our theme of films, the next location is the Air Odeon. There are many Odeons scattered about the country, but Air is the last one standing from the ones that were built before World War II and the oldest and first Odeon in the whole of Scotland. Air has quite a large film community, so this is quite a big deal, and the Film Society resides here too. The bands of the side of the building, once lighting up with neon, now represent a time past with the tall tower never actually serving a purpose. It's been completely for show, and it towers above buildings that has not been around for anywhere near as long. Being placed next to the seaside, the building has become more of an architectural statement and becomes one of Ayr's landmarks and marked itself as one of the last cinemas in Scotland standing. Now that concludes our tour of the town of Ayr, a town considered to be one of Scotland's most exciting and fun-filled areas. Ayr has a variety of things to do and we hope you choose Ayr as your next destination. Haste you back.